Hello my friends, Dave Schramm here of SchrammGuitars.com and today I'm going to show you how I drill the tuner holes on my classical guitars. Let's go see how I do it. Okay, so one of the first things I do is I make these spacers out after I've routed the, the head slot, which you probably saw in a previous video. I put um, these MDF spacers inside here. Here's one that's already been drilled. But what this allows me to do is I get a cleaner cut in the wall of the tuner holes. Doing it this way. I used to drill them first and then slot it, but I got issues with some tear out. And I found this to be the, the cleanest way to do it. If you have some tips for a better way, hey, I'd love to hear what you do to keep the nice clean slots. Okay, so that's my first step is make those little filler blocks. Then what I do is I'll take my caliper and I'll, I'll uh, measure the width of the head. In this case, it's, uh, 0.862 and then of my uh, Gilbert tuner uh, uh, alignment tuner, roller hole jig um, somewhere I have an original one that John uh, gave me about 30 years ago before LMI was making these and uh, then LMI unfortunately is now out of business now um, offered these so I, I like these because they have the center lines and the one that John Gilbert gave me does not but um, originally the the Johns were the width of his tuners that he was making so he could center it on the head of his uh, uh, guitars so this is uh, 0.745 thousandths of an inch so what I do is I subtract that and I get uh, 117, divide that in half, I get 0 0.0585. I just round it up to 60 thousandths. And so I, uh, these two scrapers are both 30 thousandths, so it gives me about 60 thousandths. So now that's going to center the, the uh, tuner holes onto the neck. Okay. Then what I do is I line this up. I have a center line right there. I don't know if it's coming across in the, the video and then I, I center that I'm going to clamp this and then I'm going to drill it okay so I'm going to show you that uh, whole drilling process right now okay so I've set the depth of, of this so I, I've measured the uh, roller the length of the roller and the thick the width of the jig so I don't go all the way through the head. So I like to start with the center hole. Actually, I'll, I'll put a little bit of paraffin on here. And drill my hole. I don't, I don't drill really fast because I think that causes some blowout. So I take my time. Okay, so I'll do the other two holes.
double check the depth. That's good. That's good. Now I'll take this off. I'm gonna flip it around. There you can see the, the holes. Okay, and I flip it around the other way. Everything lined up. Don't be afraid to check and double check and triple check <laughs> the depth of that. Looks good. Hey. Be real careful when you get to the last part because if you push too hard, you can blow through and go through the whole head. Especially this one here. This one's kind of tricky because I have some ebony reinforcement and so it was a little bit tough getting there. Okay, let's unclamp it. There we go. We now have our nice centered holes. I'm pop out these. I got this one in kind of tight. There we go. So, there we go. Got our tuner holes. So, that's how I do it. So, here's what it looks like with some, here's some, uh, has some Rogers tuners handy. So, I'm just checking everything with that. And everything looks good. 
All right, thanks for watching. And if you're new, uh, thanks for watching. And um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to creating the next video for you. Have a great day, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.